There we go. All right. Welcome to all play, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. It is finally here. Performing for you. We're finally going to hop into the next part of our Nuzlocke series. Man, I, this energy is taking me a while to get here. And I'm hyped. I'm hyped for it. We're going into Soul Silver. Pokemon Soul Silver. Team Snaps and Claps is back in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Check the t-shirt. Team Snaps and Claps. The blue shirt, or excuse me, the silver shirt is here. And we're about to hop into this game. For those of you who don't know, I'm going to explain the rules of the Nuzlocke, which make uh, the Pokemon games a little bit harder than they normally are. I'll explain them over the course of this episode. A uh, little backstory. This is a remake of the Gen 2 game, uh, Pokemon Silver version. I played everything in Gold version all the way down from the very first time I played it. No resetting the cartridge or anything. And the same thing for Heart Gold. Uh, which is a remake of the gold version from second gen. I've never played silver or soul silver. So there's very slight differences, but I'm pretty much familiar with the storyline. We're going to hop right into the game now, guys. All right, we don't need this. This is information to teach me how to play the game, how to actually control the game. We don't need no control help. Here we go. Hmm. Looks like the sun is descending in the sky. So this would be what is called twilight, wouldn't it? Hey, look who it is! Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Look at that. That's a mirror, y'all. <laughs> we live alongside, or we humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Bye, Meryl. We'll see you later. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, if we're continuing on our journey, we're a boy. Won't you please tell me? That's, how, that's us. The only catch is we don't wear capris. We don't wear capris around here. So you're a boy then. Yes. Please tell me your name. I'm hyped, y'all. I don't know if y'all can tell us, but I'm a little hyped. I don't know which direction to go in when it comes to making funnies. All right, but we're here performing for you. My name is Chill, for those of you not in the know. Chill, the host of Alt Play. Your name is Chill? Yes. Yes, it is. Chill, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. That's exactly what we came here for. Oh, we came here for an adventure, and gosh darn it, we're not leaving without one. Fun experiences, difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure. Let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. We're finally beginning, y'all. We are finally beginning our Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Uh, let's see. I need to let's check the PC. I'm not sure if there's anything here. Oh, we got some mail. We got mail from Lyra. Uh, what does the mail say? Let's read it. Ex adventure. Excited. I love Pokemon. And she has a. 
She has a Meryl. That's dope. All right, that's the only thing in the in the, the computer for us. Let's head on downstairs. Oh, it's our mom. She got the best song in the whole game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. This is Gen 2. Gen 2. I'm actually going to go through the soundtrack and rank my favorite songs uh, for the towns. Because a lot of them have amazing songs. Hi, Chill. You're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide and seek with her Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. This is your trainer card. Here you can save a record of your progress. These are also rather helpful. Just try touching the buttons and you'll know what to do in no time. Thanks, Bob. Alright, uh, uh, speaking of touching the buttons, oh, key item, that's the key item button. Well, let's touch the menu button, there we go. Let's change the speed. Y'all know how, how I cannot stand. I cannot stand when this text is so slow. Let's see, we're doing soul silver. Let's see, this is gold, this should be silver then. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do it like that. And we'll keep it like that. That's how that will be. We're gonna head on out, and we're gonna progress through the world here in New Bark Town. Oh, look at Meryl. Oh, oh, is that is that our, is that our friend Lyra? Lyra, is that Lyra? All right, well they're going that way. We should probably head that way too. Let's head that way. We'll head that way. Okay, like I said, we're doing a Nuzlocke run of this game. That means it's not the standard Pokemon Soul Silver playthrough. It's got a bunch of rules that are so much harder. If you guys remember our, our Fire Red playthrough, it was insane. The rules got got too real too quickly. Let's head to Elm's lab. We need to head into the laboratory. Hi, Chill. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon. Just like your friend Lyra does. We, we saw her walk with Meryl. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its ball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you can choose from. Phone's ringing. Oh, oh hey, I got an email. His email alert sounds like like a cell phone ringing. I got an email. No, uh -huh. mm-hmm, uh-huh, okay. Hey, listen. I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. All right. So we finally get to choose our starter for Soul Silver. So much time has gone by. I'm looking at the, the digital read. So much time has gone by. All right. So this is not the standard game of Soul Silver. Things have been randomized. That means Pokemon have been changed in where they will make appearances. So our starters may or may not be Chikorita, uh, Cyndaquil, and Totodile. There's a very good chance it won't be, but it possibly could. Let's take a look at what our three starters are, three options for starters. All right, so we touch a Pokeball to see what's inside. The first one is Piplup. He's a water type. The second is Cleffa. It's a normal type. And the third is Charmander. It's a fire type. Okay. This is interdasting. This is going to be interdasting. Okay, so we can choose between Piplup, Cleffa, and Charmander. Of these three, there's one that I would say that I have never, ever really had as a Pokemon. I mean, I've, I've had it in, what, Gen 6? In both Gen 6 sets, uh, so that I can complete the Pokedex and I've evolved all the way up. But I've never had it really as a Pokemon to use. And that one is Piplup. So, ladies and gentlemen... Team Snaps and Claps, 
Silver Mode. <laughs> That's what we're going to call this. Silver Mode is uh, having Piplup as our starter. Welcome to the team, Piplup. So you like Piplup, the water type Pokemon? We got us a Piplup, y'all. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Oh, uh, one of the rules for the Nuzlocke is that whenever you get a Pokemon, you have to nickname it. Because that's our buddy, yo. That's our buddy, Piplup. What are we going to name him? What are we going to name him? We go, this is, this is, this is Perry the Piplup, y'all. Perry? We going to go with Perry? I think I like the name Perry. Perry the Piplup. Leader of Team Snaps and Clap Silver Mode. Is Perry the nickname you want to give? Sure is. All right, so you can see Perry is walking right behind us. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Chill. All right. We got us a... Oh, oh, he's going to stop us. Chill, I want you to have these to help you with your task. Oh, we got some potions. Oh, we got some potions. We put the potions in the, in the medicine pocket. Pokemon are weak in the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you think yours is in danger. Okay, so it's us and Piplup against the world right now. Oh, check it out. It's, it's Lyra, Lyra, and her, her Meryl. Hey, chill! So you pick a Piplup. That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. Oh, Meryl and Piplup, or Meryl wants to be friends with Piplup, at least. Let's talk to Piplup and see what's going on. Perry is staring steadfastly at Chill's face. Oh, he's going to be one of those. <laughs> he's going to be one of those. <laughs> okay, let's stop by the house real quick, and then we'll head out. I'll, after we leave the house, I'll start to explain the rules for what makes a Nuzlocke different from a standard playthrough. Hey, Mom, sup? Oh, Chill, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you? Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say. What kind of task? Hmm? I see. That sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Your poker gear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. So we got the poker gear. It's a thing. The poker gear. Or the Pokemon gear. Or poker gear, as it's often called. Is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You could use the Poke Gear to make a phone call too. Do you remember how? Yes, mom. Yes, mom. Just power on the Poke Gear and touch the telephone button. Okay, okay, mom. I got this. I'm a Pokemon master. The names of the people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one and give him or her a call. Wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Let's save. Let's just say eight minutes. We spent eight minutes here in New Bark Town. All right. So let's begin to explain the rules of the Nuzlocke. We'll make this. These are the. These, it's basically called hard mode. This is a hard mode version of this game. These are all self-implied rules or self-implemented rules, I should say. The first rule is that you only get you're only allowed one catch per um, per new route. So let's see. When we step out of New Bark Town, we will be on the first route. Whatever we run into first, that's what we have the opportunity to catch. If we fail catching that, we don't get anything for that route. That's what makes this hard mode. You don't get to catch just everything that you see. So we're, oh, we're going to be stopped by Elm. Wait one second. Hurry up, Elm. We got stuff. To, you access to do stuff. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. So we got Professor Elm's, his phone number. I'll call you if anything comes up. Thanks, Elm. Thanks. Bye. All right, so we're going to leave. All right, so this is Route 29. 
Uh, typically in Pokemon, you catch a lot of different Pokemon and make up your team so that you can you can be the very best like no one ever was. Well, when you do a Nuzlocke run, you're only allowed to catch the first thing that you encounter, with some exceptions. I'll get into those exceptions as we as we move farther along. That's the first rule that you must understand. So we're going to catch something now. All right. So if you take a look, and I'm just not realizing I never got into this. The blue screen, the one on the left, is the top screen. That's the battle screen. The screen on the right side with the black to white uh, border, that screen is our bottom screen, the touch screen. So if the game ever refers to the touch screen, that's what it's talking about. All right. So our first encounter is a Metapod, level three Metapod. Oh, we're going to do a pound. Now, what I was saying is if I don't catch this, I don't have an opportunity to catch anything else uh, for this route. Next time I go to another route, I can catch something, but I won't be able to catch anything on this route. The only exception to that will be, I'm sorry, there's two exceptions to that. The first is I don't have the opportunity to catch anything right now. Oh, Perry's just going to go ahead and pound him to death while I explain this, just so you guys know. Um, I don't have the opportunity to catch anything because I haven't had the opportunity to buy Pokeballs. With or what you catch Pokemon with. So we, we don't have to do the whole, uh, you just blew your encounter. You don't get to catch anything on this root bit just yet. That's the exception. Until we can until we can obtain Pokeballs for catching, we don't have to follow that rule. Another exception would be, let's say we caught this Metapod. Let's say we did catch this Metapod, and then we go to another route, and then there's a Metapod on that route. That's our first encounter for that route. We don't. We can ignore that Metapod and then run into something else. When we run into something else, uh, then we have the opportunity to catch that. If we accidentally kill it, then we don't get to catch anything. It's called the Dupes Clause. You don't. If you run into a duplicate, you don't have to catch it. That's not your only encounter. Or that's not your only opportunity to catch anything on that route. Now, if I want to catch a second Metapod for whatever godforsaken reason. I can go ahead and do it, but I, I'm not obligated to. It's not my. It's not me passing up an encounter for that route. Fairy's getting a little bit of uh, experience right here. I'm gonna try to not grind too heavily in the beginning of the game, because what I do know is that breaks it. That will break the game. Now, how do we lose a Nuzlocke? This is one of the most important parts of the game uh, of the rules for losing a Nuzlocke or for doing a Nuzlocke. You lose a Nuzlocke if your entire team faints. And when they faint, I, I kind of skipped the the rules, didn't I? I'm sorry, guys. Uh, when a Pokemon faints, they're dead. You, they're dead. They're dead. They are gone to the great beyond, and you are not allowed to use them for the rest of the Nuzlocke run. All right? Breaking that rule means that you, uh, you're you done with your Nuzlocke. Your Nuzlocke run's over. Perry here just gained a level. He just went up to level six. Good stuff, Perry. So if... If, uh, oh, also, this rule is not into effect until we're able to catch Pokemon again. So Perry can die a million times if he wants to right now. Uh, I didn't mean that, Perry. He's steadily poking at the ground. Oh, yeah. Perry's one of those. <laughs> Perry's going to be one of those. All right, so it's looking like on this route, there's only Metapod, or at least for this time of day. For those of you not in the know, I'm playing this game right now at 6.05. Uh, it was about 5.58 when um, Professor Oak called it Twilight. So uh, that time time of day has a huge effect on this game. You only run into certain Pokemon during certain times of day or night for that matter. Uh, I think days of the week. This isn't a days of the week game, is it? The, did, the, did the Nintendo DS care about what day of the week it was? I don't think it kept track of that, did it? It might have. I don't remember. Actually, it does. I think it does because gold and silver care about what day of the week it is for a lot of different events. Um, so different days of the week, different times of day, you'll run into different Pokemon in the same location. Uh, it looks like at this time of day, rather, night, um, it looks like the only thing we'll see here are Metapods. So if we come back through this route, we're probably going to have a Metapod on the team, which isn't too bad. All right, we'll be all right. We'll be okay. We can we can do with a Metapod. I don't want to, but I think we can we can handle. We've done. We've had way worse situations. Trust me, trust me. All right, what are we going to encounter here? 
Hey, all right. So it's not just Metapod. It's also Combi. Combi's not too much better. But Metapod, really, if you catch a Metapod, all it knows is Harden. So as long as Combi can attack, it is better than Metapod. It knows gut. It's, it's instantly better than Metapod. It's better than Metapod. All right. And as I mentioned before, ooh, that crypto. Perry with the crit hit. Go ahead, Perry. Get that level. You go ahead and level up, son. Perry's at level seven. Good work, Perry. Um, as I mentioned before, if your entire team faints, if all for anywhere from one to six, the entire team, the Pokemon that you have on you faints, then your run's over. It's game over. You have lost the Nuzlocke. We're here in Cherry Grove City. It's the it's not the city we need. Oh, it's it's. The city before where we need to get to. Remember, we're trying to go to Mr. Pokemon's house. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. If you like, I can teach you a few things. Okay, then. Follow me. Oh, he just took the hell off. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible, so try keeping up. This man's still running as full speed ever. This is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. He must know we're doing a Nuzlocke. Pokemon Center is where you go to heal your Pokemon. If they're fainted in a normal run, or if they are losing health, or they're poisoned or burned or anything like that, you can go to Pokemon Center and that'll fix them right up. This is a Pokemart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. So this is where we'll come back to buy Pokeballs. Um, after, after we handle the business that Professor Elm needs us to handle with Mr. Pokemon. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon there. If you go a little farther, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. That's where we need to head. So after he finishes... Whoa, he's really taking the hell off. After we finish this, this tour around Cherry Grove City, we'll head through Route 30. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in water. Hey, slow down, old man. The hell? How are me and Perry supposed to keep up? Here, it's my house. For your effort for keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. That's disgusting. They're still warm. Even more disgusting. Gotcha, didn't I? Don't worry. These are brand new. He gave us the, he gave us the running shoes. The instructions read, touch the sprint button on the touch screen to sprint. It also says, hold the B button down to sprint. So that's us sprinting. That's us sprinting. Let's take a stop in uh, the Pokemart. In the Pokemart. We'll see what they have. See if we can buy Pokeballs just yet. I'm actually interested in knowing that. Nope. Can't buy Pokeballs just yet. We can get potions, antidotes, and paralyze heal. These are all medicine. Excuse me. These are all medicine that will help us in the very near future. Uh, if we have low health and we don't want to run back to the Pokemon Center, we'll use potions. If our Pokemon are poisoned, we'll use antidotes. And if they're paralyzed, we can use paralyzed heal. Let's be out. We don't need any of this right now, really. Like I said, we're safe up until we're allowed to... I'm sorry, until the game allows us to catch Pokemon. We don't have to worry about any of the rules. We already nicknamed our only Pokemon possible right now, so we're good. This is the Pokemon Center. We'll heal up here several times over the course of our journey. Each major city has one. I'm pretty sure every city in this game has a Pokemon Center. There might be one game with one city that doesn't have a Pokemon Center. But I can't remember which one right now. All right. I don't know if you guys could tell, but one of the things that I've consciously said I'm going to do for this Nuzlocke compared to... We need to run. Compared to... Um, Uh-oh. Oh, the old man. <sighs> I made it. I forgot about one thing. This is another token from me. Take it. Oh, he gave us a map. 
our Poke Gear has an app on it, basically, that operates just like the map in, uh, in other Pokemon games. So if we want to use the map, we can go right to the Poke Gear. It'll show us the area, the region that, we, that we're currently in. Also, we're in Johto, for those of you who don't know. Johto is very nearby Kanto, which was the area that Gen 1 took place in. Uh, let's look at the map. I'll show it to you guys on the map. This is what the Poke Gear looks like when you first use it. The blue, remember the blue screen is the one on top and uh, the, the main screen. And the one with the black to white border is the touch screen, which is directly below. So some images might look a little bit weird because of how I've had it set up. This is the phone. This is the map. This, this here, this is all the area. Anywhere that's red is somewhere we've already been. Any one of these white paths is a route. Uh, these circles are all different special locations and then gray the gray blocks or gray areas I guess those are cities we haven't been to yet so you guys now know how to read the map this is route 30 we're on route 30 all right let's see what we can see here well as I was saying before the old men came back up um one of the things I'm consciously trying to do we got an amulet oh that's dope we're starting with an amulet colon already. It's an item that you can give a Pokemon to hold. And if the Pokemon holding it has been sent out in battle uh, against a trainer, then you earn double the money that you normally would. So I'm going to give this already to Perry. Perry's going to hold that for me. All right, let's see if I can get this idea across now. I consciously want to... I'm ignoring, the, I'm ignoring that right now. <laughs> it's a Caterpie. Pretty dope. Um, one of the ideas that I want to do is I want to make sure in every episode we accomplish something. I feel like there might have been a few episodes in the Fire Red Nuzlocke run where I wasted an episode. Hey, Crypto! Good work, Perry! That's where Snaps and Claps come from, just so you guys know. Where they get that crit? That crit, though. I feel like there might have been a few episodes that I wasted time. Like, it, it shouldn't have been a whole episode to itself, and, and nothing got accomplished. So what I consciously want to do is have at least one major event be accomplished in each city. I'm, I'm sorry, in each episode. Whether that's I get to a new city, I press forward in a goal that we need to do, I get a new badge, a new Pokemon badge, I rebuild the team, something. Something major has to happen before each episode ends. So for this one, I figure once we get up to Mr. Pokemon's house... Oh, this man. Hey, kiddo! How in the world could you be so oblivious to my eye-catching house? Hold it right there. This man. When you follow that path up north, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. But before you go, let me finish what I have to say. Do you have any apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. I have one of those trees, too. Apricorns are really something. You can make Pokeballs and other things. They are quite useful. I have a feeling this is meant to be because I have something for you. He's going to give us an apricorn box. That's actually a very important item. Probably shouldn't walk past this bear's house. With that apricorn box, you can carry so many apricorns. You'll be a decent apricorn collector. Bye. All right, so these weird-looking trees. There's, there's these trees here along the side, left side, and then there's these weird-looking trees. These trees sprout apricorns. I can tell you a little bit about the lore when it comes to back, uh, apricorns. Uh, like I said, Gen 2 is my favorite. Oh, we got a green apricorn. Um, apricorns used to be what were used for Pokeballs. People used to make Pokeballs from apricorn. That, that's really the extent of the lore. We're going to run into a gentleman. A cascoon, cool. We're gonna run into a gentleman that will give us more information on Apricorn, so I don't want to ruin that too much. All right, just like Metapod, Cascoon's not gonna do anything but use Harden. So this is basically free experience. We're given, we're given pre 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 game training. I guess what we got pre 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 game training. Perry gonna be a beast. Perry gonna be a beast by the time we get to Mister Pokemon's house. As I was saying, I was interrupted by a million different things. Um, I don't want this episode to end until we get to Mr. Pokemon's house and we see whatever this weird, this weird thing is that he wants to check out. Go ahead, Perry. Perry is Perry is the man. Perry is the man. 
Oh, we should be running, shouldn't we? Let's see, are we almost at his house? Come on. Oh, a ladybug. That's actually there's actually a, a nice range of different Pokemon we've we've encountered here. As I said, Pokemon have been randomized. So we're let's see. Yeah, actually we've run into a few Pokemon that we really shouldn't have seen. I like that uh Cascoon. I don't believe we were we were supposed to see Cascoon here in Johto. Uh Pokemon have been randomized. Now what that means is we'll see Pokemon outside of where they should be. But we're more or less gonna see them in the same area level like for example running into a lot of bugs and things like that we actually i think we've exclusively run into bugs that's because bugs are of the weaker types <clears throat> excuse me perry learn bubble good stuff perry bugs are of the weaker types weaker weaker power level i should say most in general bugs are weak and we're in the early stage of the game we're very very early game so we're gonna run into typically weak Pokemon, but we're running into Pokemon that are relatively weak to what should be seeing here. So it's a little bit confusing, and it'll make sense later on when we're seeing huge monsters. Just huge, ridiculous, overpowered monsters. With the pound. Go ahead, Perry. Perry with the pound, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. I think we're almost at Mr. Pokemon's house. Yes! This should be... Yes! Mr. Pokemon's house is right here, and he has a uh, he has an apricorn tree right outside of it. Is this a pink, pink apricorn? Yeah, it's a pink apricorn. All right, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Let's head into his house. You must be chill. It was I who sent an email to Professor Elm El Elm Elm Professor Elm earlier. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. We got an egg. We got a mystery egg. He gave us an egg. We put it in our, our key items pocket. A friend of mine from Ikrutik gave it to me. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what this is. He's the best when it comes to Pokemon research of evolution of Pokemon evolution to the research. <laughs> That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. You are returning to Professor Elm. Here, your Pokemon should have some rust. So he's going to heal us up before we head back out. We got to take this egg back to Professor Elm's lab. Hey, look who it is. It's your boy, Professor Oak. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a prof Pokemon researcher. So you're chill. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Ah, you seem to be dependable. Would you like to help me out? So far, all we've been doing is running after old men and helping them. Why? See? This is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. We got the Pokedex. We're almost there. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get the Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Chill, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers just to be on the safe side. So we got Professor Oak's phone number. All right, Oak. Bye. All right. So it seems we have completed today's mission. We've gotten the egg from... Uh, I think I spoiled something. We got the mystery egg from uh, from your boy, uh, Mr. Pokemon. How you feeling, Perry? Oh, he's singing music. Perry seems to want to return to the lab. Great. That's where we're going. All right, we're going to head back to the lab. That'll be where we pick up tomorrow, guys. Oh, oh call from Professor Realm. Cool. He hello? Chill? It's a disaster. Um, uh, um, it's just terrible. Uh, what should I do? It. Oh, no. Please get back here now. 
All right, so we got to rush back to uh, the Pokemon Lab. We're on our second adventure as Team Snaps and Class, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Nuzlocke and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button. And I'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more challenges like a Nuzlocke playthrough. Uh, more games like Pokemon Soul Silver, as well as everything else that All Play has to offer. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on All Play. Team Snaps and Claps is back in the building, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hyped up. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, bye. <laughs>